to it. I'm going to do a review on the Ariat Sport Patriot. Um, so again, if you watch my other videos, this boot is a more traditional style boot with it being leather and then it's a roper because it's got the one inch heel on it and it's basically the um, rambler the rumbler um, forget what it's called it's another boot by Ariat, and it's basically the same boot only this one has got the american flag on it i think it's got an updated insole so this one here it's leather on the inside which is actually really nice it's really soft it's not like uh i've put on some more traditional boots and even with a, a boot sock and stuff the leather on the inside is just so rough that i couldn't even wear it because it was just annoying and those were pretty expensive boots too those were i can't remember the company but i was looking at them and they were like oh they were like almost $400 or something the inside leather was so rough I I didn't even want to wear them um they have the leather the one thing I don't like is it is um metal nails in there so when the bottoms when the leather gets wet or it's hot and cold whatever it stretches and sometimes they'll put like I think it's called lemon wood peg in but it's like a wood and it'll stretch with the leather when the leather stretches and shrink with it and so this with the metal nails when the leather stretches it's metal it's not going to stretch it's not going to shrink or nothing and they tend to be able to fall out and there's some of them i don't know if you can see some of them that are already sticking out quite a bit on there uh, these boots, they were not hard to break in. Um, you know, I just conditioned them and stuff a bunch, cleaned them um, every day. I, I did wear these to work quite a few times. However, when I'm working, a lot of times when I'm spraying down with the hose, I'm on water. And the leather on the bottom didn't like that very much. And I could actually feel somewhere that water was seeping through and i think it's where the nails are i think water was maybe seeping through there and it was getting my foot wet my foot it wasn't wet from the top the whole top of the boot here was completely soaked but my foot wasn't but underneath my the underneath my foot got soaked just from walking on it and so that was the last day that i wore these to work and started wearing them out in public just to wear them. Um, so as far as the smell goes with being on a farm, it held his leather smell pretty good. Um, I know there's some boots that the leather just like absorbs the smell. These ones haven't been in a lot of cow poop though. These ones have been in dirt. I think I walked on in the barns on the cow poop maybe three times in these or whatever for like a few hours so i mean the smell it still smells like leather i've had these for quite a few months now um still smells like leather one thing is um this wasn't that bad when i first got them um it, it is supposed to be a distressed brown but it wasn't that bad until um, I started conditioning it and stuff, and it seems like the more I condition it, the more it, it starts to look like that, which I think is pretty cool, but in terms of the boot lasting, I'm not sure how long this boot is going to last before it starts getting holes in it, and I'm not sure if that's from the chemicals that Ariat used to give it the distressed look, or if it's just that I'm using the wrong conditioner or something for a distressed boot, which could be the case, um, but I'm not sure. So this one has double 
stitching it has the ability to be resold this was one of my first boots that was able to be resold so uh, what that means is um, on a cheaper boot this will actually be glued you'll be able to see glue along the edges and so the sole is glued to the boot and then they have the stitching here but the stitching doesn't go all the way through it's more like a fake stitching on a, a cowboy boot that is good quality you'll be any i mean there's good quality ones that are glued but to resole them you know they go all the way through around it there and it's not glued on it's stitched on to there and i love that because when this wears out with it being a leather bottom i don't have to go and spend another you know three hundred dollars on a, another pair of the exact same boots i can keep this part which is broken in already you know to my foot and it's comfortable and just put another sole on it rather than buying a whole new boot and having to break it in again so then that favorite pair of boots that you have which mine aren't really these ones the favorite pair of boots that you have you don't have to get rid of the comfort um just because your boot is worn out on the bottom which is awesome so Ariat made these ones they were made in Mexico um, it's a leather upper and outsole and it is a balanced man-made which means machine and man made it as far as the flag goes um, with the stitching you can't really tell that they're stars they're kind of I think the front's worse than the back. They're just kind of like blobs, it looks like to me. They look more just like blobs um, in there. The stripes are awesome. I like the stripes on there. And the kind of distressed look. But the stars, I feel like they could have put a little bit more attention into the detail on the stars. I'm not a critic like I don't like criticize stuff very much and I'm not saying it's a bad boot I'm just pointing out different things that I'm noticing stuff like that uh, this boot has these nice pull tabs sometimes you'll see two holes um, in the sides I like the pull tabs because anytime I look at a cowboy boot that has those two holes and it comes up to a sharper point for some reason it is just, to me, it looks like a KKK mask, I'm going to be honest. And I don't like that. So, the boots with two holes. Different colors. I mean, like green. Like, I have the green ones. Those ones are fine. And stuff. So, I mean, you keep your pants untucked and out outside so you can't see them. But I was looking at a pair of white ones. One day. And this is when it all started. I was looking at a pair of white ones. So the shaft was white and it had two holes and it came up to, to more of a point than these. I mean, it was like a point. I think it was by uh, Rock and Leather or something like that, some sort of ad. I was looking at them and I was thinking, what does that look like? That looks weird. What does it look like? And to me, it looked like a KKK mask. And I was like, huh. So I, I like Googled it, you know, KKK, and put the image of the boot next to it. And I was like, yeah, I don't want that boot. So, so I'm more of just the pool tab than the holes on the sides. Um, personally, just by personal preference and looks, even though nobody sees it. But my most comfortable pair of boots is the Durango Rebel Pro with the two holes on the side. That is the boot that I wear to work all day long, every day. Which I don't have them there at work right now. So, yeah, these boots, I mean, these are really, really nice boots for going out. Um, you know, going to barn dance, going shopping, going to the movie theater, going out on a date, going out. Goofing around with your buddies, doing whatever. But they are not good to work in. 
because you can't get this wet. They aren't good to wear in the rain. And they, after so long, get do get uncomfortable. Um, just with this being leather, you know, there's not much of a cushion there. So, yeah, this is the Circuit Patriot. These boots cost exact, I think, exactly $200. Uh, for a $200 boot, this is a phenomenal boot. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to people who just want a cowboy boot to wear around, not to work in. Um, something that, you know, they can slip off their work boots and throw these bad boys on and go straight from work to hang out with their buddies at a bowling alley or movie theater or whatever. You know, um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it for that kind of use. Not working. Don't work in these. They're, they're complete crap when it comes to working. But they're really, really awesome boots. So, and then they have the Ariat 4 LR uh, insole, which I, I do like um, very much. It has little rivets on it, uh, which I like. For my toes when I'm walking uh, I kind of curl my toes up and it kind of like massages the bottoms of them which I love so yeah I'm gonna finish off this video this was a review of the circuit Patriot um, I'll do some more reviews here coming up pretty soon um, just wanted to make a quick video on that boot before I go to work so uh, coming up uh, I am getting in that box, the Dale Brisby unboxing. Uh, I didn't get everything. He didn't ship two of the belt buckles out with it. So we'll see. I should be getting two more hats and two more belt buckles here in the next day or two. So there will be another video on that. Um, and as far as that goes, I'm not sure when I'm going to get them. But I'm going to get them. It's going to be sweet. I'm going to make another video on them. So, it's going to be cool. Look out for that. So, uh, I'm on to the next one. I'm going to go punch out some cows. Uh, milk them today. And then tomorrow, I'll make another video for you. Another boot review. Maybe an unboxing. Uh, so, maybe two in one day. So, let's get it.